Hello learners, how can you identify a 2D shape? How can you identify a 2D shape? For more on this, join me teacher Jonathan in Easy Elimu Learning Simplified to more on that. And in our lesson for today, mathematics for grade 4, we will be looking at properties of a rectangle, properties of a rectangle and from our previous lesson, the properties of a square, we identified them. And just to remind ourselves, we said a square has all sides equal, all angles equal, and right angle, and four lines of symmetry. And with me, it's a rectangle paper cutout. With me, it's a rectangle paper cutout. You can see all of it, all of you. It's a rectangle paper cutout. And today, I brought a bigger one. A bigger one that we had used in our prior lesson and we want to identify also features of this square and to start with we want to start by labeling all sides label all sides of your square label all sides of your square as a b c d all sides of your rectangle sorry label all sides of your rectangle a b c d a b C and D. Now let us measure the length of line AB. Let us try to measure. So I have A, B, C, and D. We want to know the length using a ruler. Use a, your ruler. Measure the length of AB. When you measure the length of AB, when you try to measure the length of AB, you will find that. AB, line AB is 25 centimeters. What have you seen in your groups? It is also, John, it is also 25 centimeters. 25 centimeters. Again, can you measure the length of C, B, C? 25 centimeters. Can you measure the length of B and C? The length of B, C. Remember, you are working as a group, not you alone. The length of BC from my side is 19 centimeters. What have you gotten? Victoria, what do you have? You have 19 centimeters. 19 centimeters. 19 centimeters. The first one was 25 centimeters. The second one is 19 centimeters. Now, can we repeat the same and do? C, D. We want to know the length of C, D. The length of C, D. What have you gotten from my paper cutout? What do you have, Jen? You have 25. I also have 25. So, C, D is 25 centimeters. And the, finally, the final one is A, D. The length of A, D. We want to measure and see the length of A, D. A, D. Uh -huh. What have you gotten? 19 centimeters so from this what do we say 19 centimeters from this who can give us now the property number one property number one property number one who can tell us the property number one john property number one is that two opposite sides are equal two opposite sides are equal this side is opposite to this and they are equal. This side is opposite to this and they are equal. So, two opposite sides are equal. That is property number one. Two opposite sides are equal. Are equal. From our finding, two opposite sides are equal. Can we look at the angles? Angles. And I want us to measure... The, 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 whether all angles are right angle or we can measure using the prior paper cutout that we had that angle it fits we are tracing to see whether they are the same it fits a right angle so this angle B is a right angle angle A we also want to trace angle A angle A also is a right angle angle D angle D also is a right angle and angle C also is a right angle so 
What is our answer there? Tom, we are saying all angles are right angle and equal. All angles, all angles are right angle, are right angle. Number three, all angles are equal. All angles are equal. Are equal. And the last property, the last property I would like us to check is now the lines of symmetry. Can we try to fold to identify the lines of symmetry? Try to fold your paper cutout. You will find A and B are the same. We can also try to look for another line of symmetry by folding to see whether we will get it. Yes, this side is equal to this side. So, do we have another line of symmetry? We can also try to fold and see whether. No, it cannot. No. So, a, a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry. The fourth one is as two lines of symmetry. That is our final property of a rectangle. It has four lines of symmetry. Now, from that, I can use this side and these are equal. This and this, this and this are equal. Now, with that, can you do the following task just to broaden our mind on what we have learned. Identify, identify rectangles only, only rectangles. What are you identifying from number one? Number one, we have the first one as this. Is this a rectangle? Number two, we have this. Number three, we have this. Is this a rectangle? Number four, we have this. We want to identify the rectangles only. Number four, number five, we have this also. And the final one, number six, we have this also. Identify rectangles only. Learners, this marks the end of our lesson on properties of a rectangle. Kindly, when you go home, you can do more practice on this. Trace using a paper cutout, either the shapes of a blocks, anything that you have and you, you can see whether it looks like a rectangle, just try to trace it in a paper cutout. Now the paper cutout, fold it, look for the lines of symmetry and all other properties that we have identified today. And by so doing, we'll be confirming whether that object you had traced is a rectangle or not. Thank you for joining me in our today's lesson. See you in the next lesson.